tonight we are channeling the Von Trapp family just with food. Welcome back to Cliffy Land. This is week 10 on our mission to once again cook the food of every country on Earth. And this week we are up to Austria. Austria is located in Central Europe and its food obviously is very much like that of its neighbors. Tonight we are going to be making two dishes. First, we're going to be making Wiener Schnitzel and we're going to be serving that with Kasnoken or Austrian Spetzel. This is the same dish we did last time around so let's see how things went four years ago on the Global Cooking Challenge. <music> Well, four years ago, things were, again, just getting started, and this is really one of the first dishes that I made that I thought was very successful. The fact that it was very easy probably helped. The veal was nice and crunchy, and the spetzel was deliciously cheesy. So, let's see how it goes this time around. First, let's take a look at the ingredients. First, for our Wiener Schnitzel, we have one and a half pounds of thinly sliced veal steaks, three quarter cup of all-purpose flour, three eggs, one tablespoon of canola oil, salt and pepper to taste, three cups of breadcrumbs, two tablespoons of canola oil for frying. And then for the Kasnoken, or Austrian Spetzel, we have two whole eggs, one half cup milk, one half teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon of pepper, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of butter, one onion sliced thinly, one cup of Gruyere cheese shredded. You can have more if you like. That's what we got, so let's get cooking. In a large bowl, mix eggs, milk, pepper, and salt. Whisk, add flour half a cup at a time, and let it rest for 10 to 20 minutes. Heat up the butter in a skillet, saute the sliced onions until caramelized. Remove from the heat and set aside. Preheat your oven to 350 Fahrenheit. Bring a pot of water to a low boil. Spoon the batter into a slotted strainer. Using a spoon, press the batter through the holes. Let the batter drip into the simmering water. Skim out noodles when they come to the surface. Coat the casserole dish with butter. Place noodles in the casserole dish. Spread the cheese on top. Spread the caramelized onions on top. Bake in an oven at 350 for 10 to 20 minutes until golden. Set up three bowls. One with beaten eggs, one with flour, and one with breadcrumbs. Season the eggs with salt and pepper, mix. Dredge the veal steaks in flour, egg mixture, and the breadcrumbs, and repeat for the other steaks. Meanwhile, heat up the oil in a heavy skillet. Fry the steaks over medium heat for approximately 5 minutes per side. Plate the servings of the Wiener Schnitzel, scoop servings of the Spetzel alongside, wipe the plates and serve. So, how'd it go? Well, first the Wiener Schnitzel. That came out okay. As you may have noticed, I did have some issues with the crust and it frying unevenly in my too large cast iron skillet. Still, it tasted really good and everyone came back for seconds. So I'm gonna give the Wiener Schnitzel three out of five globes. Because again, it was good, but not great. As for the Spetzel, that one was a big hit. The Gruyere cheese gave it a wonderful flavor and the noodles were properly seasoned and had that really nice texture to them. The caramelized onions gave it a little bit of sweetness. So overall, that was a big score and everyone was wishing there was more left. So I'm gonna give the Spetzel four out of five globes. It was really tasty. Of course, if anybody has any suggestions, comments, experiences with Austrian food, please let me know in the comments. And if you would like to see the streams live when they occur Tuesday nights, feel free to follow us on Periscope or Busker. And tune in next week when we head back to Central Asia to cook the food of Azerbaijan. And if you're following our US A to Z series, the next one up on that list is Arizona. Once more, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And until next time, happy eating.